Hello people, it's your girl Judith here. You know, or many of you know that I'm really interested. I love creating courses. This is something that has been keeping me busy this last month. And some of you, especially authors, you have written a book and then you want to turn it into an online course, but it feels like, Oof, it is taking too much time. I got a lot of questions. Which one are you using? Kajabi, Tinkific, or Teachable? So, many of you are kind of, you don't know which platform to choose for your online course. Today, I want to quickly kind of get you into thinking why choose a platform instead of another. I think it is great to first ask ourselves why. Do I want to go with A instead of B or C? So in this very short video, I want to discuss about some requirement. I think as an online course builder, you should take into consideration if you want to choose a platform. Personally, I think first, in order for the course to be created, the platform should ease the process for you. So many of you, you are like, I don't even know where to start. So if you want to choose a platform where you will put your online course, at least you should be able to do it easily. So first, the ease of use. And then secondly, I, I am all a people person, meaning I think it is great that the platform you choose eases the interactions you will have with your students. Is it a platform that allows you to communicate easily or do you have to install some other tools and make sure they work together? So the second point I think it is important to consider is how easy it is within you, the platform of your, the platform you will choose, how easy it is for you to communicate, to interact with your prospect to then and those who are already your students and then third i talked about integration um there are no many tools no many platforms outside there that actually have everything i mean sales wise payment solution so in case you will have to interact with some other tools if for example you finally decide to put your online course on a WordPress website. How are you going to integrate with a payment solution? I guess your courses are not free, right? And even if you have free ones, there are some that you want to sell. So how will it be easy for, for you to integrate a payment solution to that WordPress? Third point, integration. And the integration also works maybe if you already have your business running. There are some tools you are already using. Many of, even if you are a starter, you already have something for maybe your email marketing, if you do a newsletter. And instead of buying a new one, how easy is it that the platform you're going to choose will integrate with that email platform? Third point is integration. And then the last one, I talked about it a bit a few minutes ago payment solution this one sometimes gives headache but if you want to create online courses to sell it should be easy not only for the person who want to purchase your course but also for you to trace and later on if you want to do jv's a system that allow is it that allows easy tracking between like what was purchased in order to makes things easy for you and your partners so i've listed four points how easy it is for you to use how easy it is for your student to go through the platform and learn how easy the system allows you to interact to communicate to have them engage what are the features that allow the most engagement between you and your student. That's the third point. And then fourth point, how easy that platform allows you to integrate with the tools you already have or with the tools that you need in your business. And then last point, at least if you create course, you should be able to sell them. So what about the integration of payment solutions? 
in the document attached to this video i'll provide like some details more information so you can check the pdf attached to this video and then next week yes next week i will select the top five like the top five platform people rave about and i will do a comparison with respect to these five points how the position in terms of ease of use in terms of integration with payment solution in terms of how easy it is for you as a teacher to in, to communicate to interact to engage with your student so if you want more information on how the top five what are even the top five as far as student is concerned so if you want some more check the next week article do not forget all these elements are part of my online course book to course that you can go and check at the link below and i really invite you to attend the webinar i'll be hosting where we'll go in detail from start to beginning on how you can turn that book you have already published into an online course check the links register for the web for the webinar and if you have some more questions related to the creation of your course you're highly welcome to ask those questions and i will address them because i want you to turn that book into an online course i want to ease the process for you as much as possible that was it for this week and i can't wait to meet you next week to talk about some more topic bye